Hi children, hello, welcome to your home school. This is another session of your mathematics basics that is a division of polynomials. We are going to see now how to divide a two polynomials. Uh, we know divisions. Yes or no children, we know normal divisions. Let's do some divisions here. So let me take uh, 15 divided by 5 or 10 divided by 3. Okay, so how do you do this? 5, 3 is a 15 directly you will cancel. Or if you do division, what will be happening? 5. Okay, this is a dividend. This is a divisor. Okay, so now 5, 3 is a 15 and you get 0 here. Let's mention what all we know in this division. Look here, 15 I am dividing. So, 15 is called as the dividend. With what you are dividing? That is called as the divisor. When you divide with a divisor, okay, what do you get here? Again, two more values you got. What are those? That is quotient. Quotient and you have got here zero. That is one. That is a reminder. So, when I divide a dividend with a divisor, we get a quotient and reminder. Okay, this is a simple technique children. So, again, how can you write this statement? Look here, if I say, what is the technique here? How do you get this 15 children? Divisor into quotient plus reminder, you get 15. Let's check it out. What is your divisor? 5 into quotient plus reminder 0. 15 equal to 15 plus 0 and 15 equal to 15. Yes, correct. How we are doing this division? How can we get here? The dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder. Right? Similarly, let's do one more example here. 10 by 3. Okay? So, 10 by 3. How can you do children? So now like this division, 3, 3 is so 9, 10 minus 9 will be 1, 10 divided by 3. When you divide what happens, 3, 3 is so a 9, 10 minus 9 will be 1, where 3 is a quotient and 1 is called the reminder. When we divide 10 with a 3, we got a reminder and quotient. Similarly, how can you get this? 10 is equal to... 3 into 3 plus 1. That is 10 equal to 9 plus 1. 10 equal to 10. This is a basic technique. Right? How can you remember children this one by statement? Dividend. Dividend is equal to. Di dividend is equal to. Divisor into. Divisor into quotient. Divisor into quotient plus reminder. Divisor into quotient plus reminder. Okay, this is a small statement what we know till now in divisions. If we divide a number with another number, we get a quotient and reminder. So now we are going to discuss polynomial divisions. How can we do the polynomial divisions children? Normal number, okay, that statement I can accept. What is that? Dividend equal divisor into quotient plus reminder. But now, when we talk about a division in polynomials, we should remember one statement. What is that? If P of X and G of X, what is P of X children? Polynomial of X and one more polynomial, G of X we can take. P of x and G of x are two polynomials such that degree of P of x is greater than or equal to degree of G of x. So what is that word children here? Suppose P of x is equal to uh, 3x square minus 5. G of x is equal to x minus 2. Okay, now look here children, I have given P of X a polynomial. So, observe the degree here. So, X is a variable, right? Observe the degree here. Uh, the power. Observe the power. 
1 and 2. What is the degree of this polynomial? Highest power is called the degree. So, degree is 2. Now, g of x, what is the power? 1. What is its degree? 1. Okay. So, what I am trying to say here, look here carefully, where if p of x and g of x are two polynomials such that the degree of p of x is greater than or equal to g of x but not less than g of x. Understand the question carefully. This is 2, this is 1 or this might be g of x maybe uh, with 2x square minus 3 I can divide. At the time both the degrees are same. What I can say here children, the degree of a polynomial p of x is always greater than or equal to. The degree may be equal or the degree may be greater than the g of x degree. That is only given here. Degree of p of x is greater than or equal to degree of g of x. And g of x is not equal to 0. If g of x is equal to 0, what happens children? There is no question. There is no reminder. Okay. Then we can find polynomials q of x and r of x. What is q of x? Quotient. r of x? Reminder. Okay. Let me discuss once again. If... P of x and g of x are two polynomials where the degree of a polynomial P of x is always greater than or equal to g of x. And g of x is never equal to 0. That is not equal to 0. Then we can get q of x and r of x. What is q of x? Quotient of the polynomial and reminder of the polynomial is r of x. So, polynomial with the one variable we are doing, right? So, the variable we write always inside, yes. x, x, q of x, r of x. Simply we are not saying quotient, reminder we are not calling, right? Observe, there we wrote only quotient and reminder. How can you rewrite that statement, children? Such that polynomial of x, a dividend is what? p of x. Divisor is g of x. Quotient is not only Q, Q of X and reminder R of X. So what is the uh, important rule here? P of X is equal to G of X into Q of X plus R of X. P of X is equal to polynomial of X is equal to another polynomial of X into quotient of X plus reminder of X. Let's see the division of polynomials now. How to do the division of a polynomial we are going to learn now. Right? I have taken here two examples of division of polynomials. So look here carefully. Divide p of x is equal to x plus 3x square minus 1. And it is this p of x is divided by g of x is equal to 1 plus x. So, what you need to observe here? First, observe the polynomial, whether it is in a order or not. What do you mean by order here, children? From highest power to the lowest power, your equation should be. So, here, x power 1, x power 2, like this there. So, in this, what is the degree? Degree means highest power is called the degree. So, highest power is 2, that is degree is 2. This equation, this polynomial is having a degree 2. So, rewrite this polynomial. Arrange in an order first. 3x square plus x power 1, that is x minus 1. Okay, then see this g of x. This one also in the same manner x plus 1 constant always should be last okay first step when you are doing your division you should arrange the polynomial from highest power to the lowest power then start division how look here carefully 3 x square plus x minus 1 i need to divide right i take like this okay 
So now g of x I will write here x plus 1. How to do this division children? Observe the first term of the dividend and first term of the divisor you divide. So let's do that in rough part. So let me do this side. 3x square by x it will be how much? Here x part 2 means 2x will be there. By x means 1x can be cancelled. So if 1x is cancelled what is left here? 3x. So never try to cancel your x children. You just cancel power. When you have only x then you can cancel xx. Suppose if you have any power you try to cancel power. The same way if you have here x cube. How can you cancel with x? x you strike the cube part and then write 2. You have x cube means you will be having 3x. Right in 3x if you cancel 1x 2x will be left. That means x square should be left above. Okay understand and do the calculations carefully. So what is our first term in your dividend? 3x square. First term in your divisor? x. If you divide what you are going to get? 3x. That will be the starting term of the quotient. Okay. After dividing what you have written here? 3x. Now with this 3x multiply the divisor. Start multiplying. 3x into x it will be? x into x will be x square. 3x square plus into plus plus 3x into 1. 3x. Okay. Now observe here we have plus 3x square and here plus 3x square. Will it cancel? No, no it cannot be cancelled. Then how it can be cancelled? When we subtract this equation with this equation, it can be subtracted. So now, what you are going to do? Take a minus sign here and here also minus. Why I am taking minus? When I need to subtract, you should multiply with the sign. And the sign will be changed. So here you have plus plus into minus becomes minus and here you have plus plus into minus it becomes minus so now forget this positive sign now look here 3x square minus 3x square will be cancelled x minus 3x will be minus 2x minus 1 drag this one down so understand here carefully when you have opposite sign directly you can add these two in order to cancel. So here we have same sign. If we have same sign we cannot cancel. Okay. So for that purpose I have subtracted by changing sign I have written here. Why changing sign? Let me show you here. 3x square plus x minus 1 there and another is 3x square plus 3x. So what is happening here children? You need to cancel any one term. How can you cancel? When we subtract this, then we can be cancelled. Now remove from brackets 3x squared plus x minus 1 minus into plus minus 3x squared minus into plus minus 3x. So minus 3x squared minus 3x squared cancel x minus 3x will be minus 2x minus 1. So observe here like this if we do same answer we get. So why we are multiplying or why we are changing sign means this is the reason. When we subtract the signs will be changed. Okay so when we subtract then the negative sign we should multiply to the sign what you have inside the brackets. Minus into plus it will be minus and minus into plus will be minus. Suppose if you have here minus sign minus into minus it will be plus. Right? This is the reason you are changing your sign here. Now what is your next step? First step is completed. What about your second step? Again 
you feel this is a dividend the first term take here minus 2x along with the sign whatever you have sign you carry with the sign then what is your device first term x this x this x will be cancelled what you are left with minus 2 that minus 2 right here in the place of quotient so now now what we need to do this minus 2 multiply for this plus into minus minus x into 2 2 x minus into plus minus 2 into 1 2 so now so minus 2x minus 2x will it cancels no so for that reason what you need to do again subtract again subtract means what happens here minus into minus keep in your mind a minus sign and multiply or just you can write reverse also minus into minus plus minus into minus plus when you are writing any sign you should forget this sign children understand carefully when you are changing the sign then you should forget this sign now what you can see here minus 2x plus 2x minus 2x plus 2x will be cancelled and here also same manner don't say again minus 1 minus 2 don't say minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 will be 1 this is your answer what is your answer here 1 so when we are doing a polynomial we know p of x g of x okay what we are going to get here a quotient q of x is equal to 3x minus 2 this is 3x minus 2 and reminder r of x is equal to 1 this is the way we need to divide polynomials okay this is the division of polynomials so one more example let's see here okay so look here carefully divide the polynomial 3x power 4 minus 4x power 3 minus 3x plus 1 by x minus 1 first thing what we need to do we need to see the degree of the polynomial see the degree of the polynomial this is 4 and that, that is 1 so when you are arranging your polynomial highest power to the lowest power you should arrange so let's let me start here p of x is equal to 3x power 4 minus 4x cube oh where is x square x square is missing can you see x square not there so how can we do in division don't neglect any term which is missed you need to take that also how can you take that so look here x power 4 x cube there so what is missing x square 0 into x square when you are doing division compulsory you need to take 0 into anything will be 0 so 0 into x square minus 3x plus 1 okay so now this should be divided by g of x is equal to x minus 1 now write in this format that is 3x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 0x square minus 3x plus 1 okay divided by right so let me write like this and g of x is a divisor i will write here yes now how to divide this polynomial how to divide rule is same every time first term of the dividend by first term of the divisor you divide to get the quotient term right so let's do in a rough column let me take here rough first term in dividend 3x power 4 first term in divisor x now observe here here how many x you have 4x you have denominator 1x if you cancel 1x in 4x how many x will be there 3 right that only you write that will be 3 x cube is your answer this 3x cube write it here that will be 3x cube 
right? Now multiply the number, what do you have? 1, 3 into 1 will be 3, x cube into x, x power 4 and plus into minus, minus, right? So 3x cube into 1 will be 3x cube. Okay, now again, can you cancel here? You cannot cancel. Then you need to subtract. Subtract means just change the sign. Now 3x power 4 minus 3x power 4 will be cancel. Now here minus 4 plus 3 how much? Minus x cube. Then drag one term plus 0x square. Now again same procedure it continues. First term in your dividend, first term in the divisor. So that will be minus x cube by x. So if this is cancel, what you are left with? Minus x square. Write that one here, minus x square. Okay? So minus x square, now again multiply this children. Minus into plus, minus. X square into x, x cube. Minus into minus, plus. X square into 1, x square. So now again, sign will be changed. So look here carefully. X cube, minus x cube plus x cube will be cancelled. And you are left with 0 and x cube. You can leave it. And this will be minus x square. Drag one term down. Then again, first term what you have? Minus x square by x. Minus x square by x will be minus x. That minus x, write it here. Now again multiply this. Minus into plus minus x into x, x square. Minus into minus plus x into 1, it will be x. Now again, both are minus. So again subtract, change sign, cancel. Minus 3x minus x will be minus 4x. Drag the number down. Okay, so now again, minus 4x, minus 4x by x, it will be minus 4. That minus 4, write it here. Now again, multiply, minus 4 into x will be minus 4x. And again, minus 4 into minus 1 will be plus 4. So now, minus 4x, minus 4x, will it cancel? No, we need to subtract means change sign. If you have minus plus, if you have plus, write it minus. Minus 4x plus 4x will be cancelled. Minus 4 plus 1 will be? Minus 4 plus 1 will be minus 3. Right? So finally what you got children here? Therefore, quotient Q of x is equal to 3x cube minus x square minus x minus 4. This is your quotient and your reminder r of x is equal to minus 3. So one thing observe here if you have any number then what can you say this is not a factor. Suppose in your division you get your reminder 0 then that is a factor of the dividend polynomial. Okay, if you get an answer 0, then it will be a factor. If you get other than 0, then it is not a factor. Let's start your reminder theorem. This is the statement of your reminder theorem. That is, let P of x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. So, let me take one example here, children. Uh, let, it, let me take here P of x is equal to this is any polynomial of having degree 1 or more than 1 I am saying. Suppose 3x square minus 4x plus 3 something you have. Okay. This is a polynomial of one variable. Right. And its degree is how much? 
2 how can you say the degree highest power is the degree here the power is 1 and here the power is 2 okay so what is the degree here 2 one more example we take polynomial of x is equal to uh, x minus 4 what is the degree of the polynomial here what is the power you have for the variable 1 right here the degree of the polynomial is 1 and degree of the polynomial is 2 so now read the statement let p of x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 equal to 1 greater than 1 i have showed you example and let a be any real number a letter a a be any real number okay if p of x is divided by the linear polynomial p of x is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a so understand here a is any real number and polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a x minus a is also a linear polynomial then the remainder is p of a then the remainder remainder is a you need to prove this this is actually a theorem they have given this and you need to prove this Right? Understand the question carefully here children. There is nothing there. If P of X is a polynomial, if A is any real number, then P of X is divided by another linear polynomial X minus A. Then the remainder will be A. You need to prove that. So let's start proving here. Right? So understand the degree of a polynomial. Here it is. What is the degree? 1. Suppose if I give you like this. Look here children. So what is this? Do you have any degree? Yes. There. That is x power 0. x power 0 value is how much? 1. Then what you need to write for these type of a polynomials? Yes. Degree is 0. And it is also called as a constant polynomial polynomial first understand the differences between all the polynomials children here this is a polynomial of degree 1 polynomial of degree 2 polynomial of degree 0 degree 0 and it is also called as a constant polynomial here nothing there suppose if i write a 4 or 4 and x power 0 is same x power 0 means what degree is there degree is what x power 0 x power 0 value is 1 4 into 1 that will be 4 therefore we call this as a constant polynomial when we have a degree 0 then that is called as a constant polynomial so let's start our proof here let p of x be any polynomial with a degree greater than or equal to 1. What is the given statement here children? They have given that polynomial p of x is divided by linear polynomial x minus a. That means what? p of x is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a. Then what is this? This becomes the dividend and this becomes the divisor. If we divide any dividend with a divisor, we are going to get quotient and reminder. Right? So, according to that, we have seen now one statement. What is that, children? You can write that statement in two ways. One way is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder. And another one is polynomial of x p of x is equal to what is the divisor here you have x minus a divisor into quotient plus reminder okay so what did they give if a is any real number and one more thing we need to observe polynomial of x is its degree may be one or more than one but here, what is a linear polynomial given? Linear, linear polynomial, linear 
polynomial degree is equal to linear polynomial degree is equal to 1. See here, x power, what do you have? Nothing. Nothing means 1. Linear polynomial degree is equal to 1. And observe here, if this is 1, then what will be the remainder? Remainder degree will be, look here, r of x. Remainder r of x degree will be 0. Why 0 children? It will be less than the g of x. Okay, this is a divisor. I may call it as a g of x also. The remainder degree is always less than g of x. Okay, so now what I can say here? Degree 0. Degree 0 means I may write r of x is equal to r. Why? It is a degree 0 you have. Degree 0 means what? It will be a constant polynomial. Instead of a constant polynomial, I will write r. Okay? So, now replace this with a given if. If, if a is any real number. So, what do we do children? This a, this a will substitute in the place of x. Ready? P of A is equal to A minus A into Q of X plus what is the degree of Rx is R. Let me write it as R. It is a constant polynomial, right? So, A minus A will be 0 into Q of X plus R. 0 into anything will be 0. So, finally what you are getting? P of A is equal to R. Observe the final statement. Then the reminder is P of A. Reminder is R. Reminder is P of A. This is nothing but a yeah, reminder theorem proof. Once again we discuss here children. Statement. What is the statement? Let P of X be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1. And let A, a be any Real number, if P of X is divided by X minus A, we get a div uh, quotient and reminder. What do we get children? We get a reminder and a quotient. So, divided by the linear polynomial X minus A, then the reminder is P of A. What I need to prove? I need to prove reminder is equal to P of A. So, now we know that Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder. That is P of X is equal to G of X into Q of X plus Rx. When polynomial is divided by linear polynomial X minus A, we get a quotient and a reminder. So, linear polynomial degree is how much children? Is 1. Then what it will be the reminder's degree? Reminder degree is always Less than the g of x. Reminder degree 0. Degree is 0. But not the value. Understand here question. Reminder degree is 0. Then it becomes a constant polynomial. Or I can take reminder r of x is equal to r also. I can take. Therefore, if a is any real number. Substitute that a in the place of x. What you are going to get? A minus A is 0 into Qx plus R. In place of R of X, I have written here R. A minus A will be 0. 0 into Q of X is 0 plus R. Therefore, finally, R is equal to P of A. Therefore, reminder is equal to P of A. That's it. Hence, it is proved. This is your simple reminder theorem, children. Okay, now we have seen these two problems in division method. We found the quotient and reminder. Similarly, we are going to use another method that is by using reminder theorem. We are going to do the same thing but we get here only reminder. We won't get quotient by this method. So, let's see this method. What is this new method? By using reminder theorem. Directly within two lines you are going to get your answer. P of x is equal to x plus 3x square minus 1. G of x is equal to 1 plus x. First step is same. Arrange the terms carefully. 
such a way highest power to the lowest power. That is 3x square plus x minus 1. G of x is equal to x plus 1. Now, how to do children here? Find the 0 of the polynomial. How will you find 0 of the polynomial? When we equate the divisor with a 0. That makes plus 1 if it goes other side. It will be minus 1. Substitute this x value in p of x. So let's write here. Substitute. Substitute x is equal to minus 1 in p of x. That is p of x is equal to. Again if you want you can rewrite the polynomial. Or directly you can substitute. In the place of x I will write minus 1. That is minus 1 plus 3 into minus 1 whole square minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1 two times if you multiply what happens? Minus into minus plus 1 into 1. 1. So that will be 3 into 1 will be 3 minus 1. So now minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2. 3 minus 2 1. That makes P of minus 1 equal to 1 or I may write it as P of A is equal to R. P of A is equal to R where reminder R is a reminder that is R of X is equal to 1 is your answer. By division method what you have done the same problem you got the same reminder. Second problem P of X is equal to 3X power 4 minus 4X cube minus 3X plus 1. And G of X is equal to X minus 1. So this one also we do with by using the reminder theorem and we are going to find the reminder. So here P of X is equal to 3X power 4 minus 4X cube minus 3X plus 1. No need of writing the missing power. Whereas in division method, we write the missing power with a 0 multiple. Okay. Now g of x is equal to x minus 1. What we need to do first step in this method, find the 0 of the polynomial. That is g of x is equal to 0. That makes x is x minus 1, 0. Minus 1 send the other side plus 1. This x value substitute in p of x. Substitute, substitute x equal to 1 in p of x. That means p of x is equal to 3x power 4 minus 4x cube minus 3x plus 1. Okay. Now 1 substitute here. p of 1 is equal to 3 into 1 whole power 4 minus 4 into 1 whole cube. Minus 3 into 1 plus 1. That will be 3 minus 4 minus 3 plus 1. See here children 1 if you multiply 4 times 1 only. 1 multiplied 3 times also 1 only you are going to get. So now plus 3 minus 3 cancel. Minus 4 plus 1 will be minus 3. Therefore P of 1 is equal to minus 3. This is nothing but R or you can write it as reminder of x is equal to minus 3. When you divide the polynomials, you are going to get the reminder minus 3. Do you remember children in your division method also we got the reminder minus 3. There we got quotient but in this method we won't get the quotient. Division of a polynomial in another method. What is another method? Its name is synthetic method or we call it as a Synthetic division. Synthetic method of doing division of polynomials. Okay, what is this new method? How can we find the division here? So here, comparing to these three methods, this method is very easy. Okay, so here how to do? Only the numerical coefficients we use in doing the division. So let's look here. Arrange the polynomial first. P of x is equal to 3x square plus x minus 1. And g of x is equal to x plus 1. Okay. Now 
how we are going to write write the numerical coefficient of p of x that is x square coefficient is 3 x coefficient is plus 1 and constant is minus 1 observe here carefully what did i do given polynomial numerical coefficients i have written with a little space in between now find the zero of this polynomial x plus 1 0 x is equal to plus 1 and another sign minus 1 okay in this method the box like this minus 1 okay now drag this as it is 3 as it is put down now look here multiply this into minus 1 into 3 how much minus 3 that my product you need to write here minus 3 plus 1 will be minus 2 observe here carefully what am i doing here only the numerical coefficients i have written here and then the zero of the another polynomial i have written here then now first number as it is drag it down next step multiply these minus 1 into 3 minus 3 right below this number then whatever the addition or subtraction you do it not of changing anything so now again again multiply this Minus one into minus two, how much? Minus into minus plus one into two, it will be two. So write it here. Then two minus one will be one. Look here, children. This is your reminder, and what you got is the quotient of x. This is your reminder. Oh, what is this? Three minus two is a quotient. No, no. Come from the last. Last value is a constant. Then x power one. Means this is x power zero and x power one will be there. That means quotient of x is equal to this is three x minus two and remainder of x is equal to one. Now if you want, you can compare children division method. You get the quotient and remainder same. And in remainder uh, using remainder theorem, you get the remainder same. And now in synthetic method, you get your quotient and remainder same. Shall we see another example? It will be very interesting, children. This method is very interesting. Last value what we get that is the remainder, and remaining terms will be the quotient. So now, same manner synthetic method we are going to do here synthetic division. So first thing what you need to do all the numerical coefficients you need to write. Three minus four, three minus four, and here square is missing. Instead of square, I will write here zero. Okay. Now minus three, and here it is one. Leave little space in between every number. Okay. Now take like this. And what is the zero of that polynomial? X minus one zero is x equal to one. That means x minus one zero, x is equal to one. So that one, write it here. Okay. First step in synthetic division: drag the first number down as it is. Drag the number down. Three one sa three. Minus four plus three will be minus one. Okay. So again, whatever you get here, that multiply with this and write here. Minus one into one, minus one. Zero minus one, minus one. One into minus one, that will be minus one. Now minus three minus one will be minus four. Now again, minus four into one, minus four. Minus four plus one minus three. See, ye children, last what you get? This is the remainder, and this is your quotient. So once again, before writing quotient, I want to repeat this one. So look here, three minus four. See, every uh, power should be there. So look here, here any power missing in that place, you write zero here. So look here, three minus four, zero minus three, one. Now, what we need to do? G of x x minus one. 
write the zero of the polynomial that is x is equal to 1. That one, write it here. Drag the first number down. Okay. 3, 1, so 3. Now, minus 4 plus 3, what happens? Minus 1. Again, multiply and write the answer. 0 minus 1, minus 1. Again, multiply, write the answer below the other number. 1 into minus 1, minus 1. Minus 3, minus 1, minus 4. Minus 4 into 1, minus 4. 1 minus 4 will be minus 3. So now, quotient of x. Why this polynomial is a variable, one variable x that is. So quotient of x, how to remember here? How do you write this quotient children? Look here, constant x power 1, x power 2, x power 3. You need to multiply for this numerical coefficients and frame the polynomial. 3x cube minus x square minus x minus 4. And your reminder for this division is minus 3. Now go back to your division method. Check the quotient and reminder. In your reminder theorem, you got the same reminder. Okay, children. So this is the way we do a polynomial divisions. See, the division you may do in any method. So, if they specify any method, you go with that method. Okay, polynomial divisions. We can do the division in this three methods. So, try to have a knowledge of the three methods. And whatever method is asked, you will be able to do the division. Okay, thank you all.